Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over an example of how to use Canva to create designs for your t-shirts and other print-on-demand products. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you'll get notified each time I release a new tutorial. Canva is by far one of the easiest places for beginners to create designs for print-on-demand products. Not only can you access professional editing tools, but also tons of t-shirt design templates, text templates, and even images to use for your designs. In this video, you will learn how to use the Canva Background Remover tool, access professional text templates, add images from the Canva image library, and tons more. We will also go over how to export your design with a transparent background so you won't have a white or colored square behind your image when you add it to your products. There are many different design styles you could create using various images, graphics, and text formats. But for this example, I'm actually going to be going over how to create a t-shirt design using an image of my dog Enzo. We'll be removing the background from the image and adding text and other graphics to create a cool design to sell in my print-on-demand store. So to get started, let's look up at the top, click on the templates drop-down menu, and then click on t-shirts under personal. This will take you to a page where you can view tons of pre-made t-shirt design templates available on Canva. Each Canva template is fully customizable, so you can use it to create any type of design you wish by changing the colors, the text, images, or any other elements on the Canva template. But since I'm going to go over how to create a t-shirt design using a photo of my dog, I'm just going to start with a blank template. The blank template should be the first template on the page. This should open up a blank template that you can use to start creating your design. I'm going to increase the size of my template a bit by using the slider bar down here. There we go. Even though we selected a blank template, from the templates tab in the menu on the left hand side, we can still view all the different templates that are available on Canva. They have a lot of free templates to choose from, but if you want to access all templates, you're going to need a Canva Pro account. You can try out Canva Pro free for 30 days by clicking the link in the video description. But for now, let's remove this and start back with a blank template. So to create my t-shirt design, let's start by adding the image of my dog. Let's look at the menu on the left hand side and click on the Uploads tab. From here, go ahead and click on the blue Upload Media button. And since my image is on my computer, I'm going to select the Device option. I can then find my photo and open it up. Once your image finishes uploading, simply click on it to add it to your template. There we go. Now let's see if we can turn this into a t-shirt design. The first thing I think we should do is remove the background. To do this, let's start by selecting the image, then look up at the top toolbar and click on the effects option. This should open up a menu that shows various effects that you can add to your image. The first option should be the background remover. Go ahead and click that now. And like magic, the background remover should automatically remove the background from your image. But to use the background remover, you're gonna need a Canva Pro account. To try Canva Pro free for 30 days, click the link in the video description. So if we zoom in and take a closer look here, we can see that there are still some things in the background that need to be removed from my image. Luckily, we can easily do this with our brush tools. If we look at the menu on the left hand side, we can select our erase brush or our restore brush. Since I wanna remove a part of my image, I'm going to click on the erase option. This will allow you to erase anything in your image you wish to remove. Let's use the slider to zoom in a bit and get a closer look. So after you select the erase option, you'll also have a slider here where you can adjust your brush size. You can increase the brush size to remove larger areas of your image or decrease your brush size to get the finer details. Once you select your size, simply go to the part of your image you wish to remove and click it to start erasing. You may have to zoom in a bit or adjust your brush size a few times to remove certain areas from your image. There we go. Let's see how my image looks now. And voila, I've erased all the background objects leaving only the image of my dog Enzo. If something was erased that you want to appear, don't forget that you can also use the restore brush as well. So now that I've finished removing the background from my image, let's go up to the top here and click on done. You can then click on the blue apply button down at the bottom here. And now the fun part begins. Let's see if we can turn this into a cool t-shirt design. If needed, go ahead and resize your image and rearrange it on the template. 
So now that I have the main image for my design, let's add some text. If we look at the menu on the left hand side, we'll see the text icon here. Go ahead and click that now. This should open up a menu where you can choose to add a simple text heading or browse through tons of pre-made text templates that are already available on Canva. As you can see, Canva has tons of really cool text templates that you can use for your design. They have some free templates, but to access all the text templates on Canva, you're gonna need a Canva Pro account. So for my design, I think I'll go with this text template here. Simply click on the text, and it should automatically be added to your template. You can then resize or rearrange your text any way you choose. To change the words in the template, simply select the text, then type in what you want it to say. And of course, you can use the toolbar up top to edit your text font, your text size, your colors, and other elements. So for my design, my text reads, my best friend has four paws. So now I have my image and my text, but let's see if we can make this even better. Let's select the text here. Go up to the toolbar and click the drop down menu here to select the new font. There are tons of fonts to choose from and with Canva Pro, you can access the entire library. For my design, I think I'll just go with this font here. Let's make the font a bit bigger using the toolbar up top. So now that I've changed my font, let's see what else we can add to make my text stand out a bit more. If I select my text, then go up to the toolbar and click the effects button, this will open up a menu where you can add some really cool style effects to your text and even change the shape of your text. You can even customize any style that you select. Let's check out the shadow. When I click shadow, you'll see a bunch of options appear that allows you to edit your shadow any way you like. You can change the shadow offset, direction, blur, transparency, and even the color. Feel free to try out a few different text styles to see which one looks the best for your design. I really like this splice style here, so I think I'll select this one for my design. So let's see what options we have down here. I think I'll change the offset a bit and adjust the thickness. If you scroll down to the bottom of the effects menu, you can also adjust the shape of your text. If I click the curve option, you'll see my text curve on my template. You can adjust the angle of the curve by using the slider bar down here at the bottom. And there we have it. I think adding a little style to my text makes it a lot more eye-catching. So let's see how we can make my design even better. I think I'll add some graphics to the background. So let's look at the menu on the left hand side and click on the elements tab. Here you can search through tons of different elements such as lines, shapes, frames, and tons of other graphics available on Canva. So for my design, I think I'll add some paw prints to the background. So let's go to the search bar at the top here and search for paws. As you can see, Canva has tons of different graphics that you can search for in their library. But just like the t-shirt design templates and the text templates, they have some free ones available, but to access the entire library, you'll need a Canva Pro account. So for my design, I think I'll go with this Canva Pro image here. Once you add your graphic to your template, you can then rearrange your graphic, resize your graphic, and even rotate your graphic to a different angle. There we go. Now let's move the graphic to the back of my main image. To do this, let's look up at the top toolbar and click on the position tab. You can then choose to move the selected object either forward or backwards on the template. My graphic has now been moved to the background. Now let's select the graphic and make it a bit more transparent so it doesn't stand out quite as much. To do this, click on the transparency icon at the top toolbar here. You can then use the slider here to adjust the transparency of your selected object. There we go. I think that looks much better. So let's add one more finishing touch before exporting my design. To make my main image stand out a bit more, I think I'll add a shadow behind my dog. To add the shadow, I'm going to start by copying the image, then pasting the image to add a duplicate. With the duplicate image selected, let's look up at the top toolbar and click on the Adjust tab. From the adjustments menu, I'm going to move the brightness all the way down, the contrast all the way up, the saturation all the way down, and add a little blur. I can then position the image behind my dog, and voila, there's my new shadow. So now I think this design is good enough to add to the products in my print on demand store. So let's go over how to export my design. Let's look at the menu up top here, and click on the downloads button. 
This should open up a drop down menu where you can select your file type and adjust your export settings. For your file type, make sure you have PNG selected for quality and to allow for transparency. You also may need to increase the pixel size of your design depending on what platform you're uploading to. With a Canva Pro account, you can easily increase the size of your image using the slider bar here. You can view the current pixel size right here on the menu. Also, if you're planning to add your design to t-shirts, hoodies, or other print-on-demand products, you're gonna wanna export your design with a transparent background. Without selecting this option, my design will be exported with this white square behind it. But in order to adjust the size and export your image with a transparent background, you're gonna need a Canva Pro account. Once you sign up to Canva Pro, not only will you be able to export with transparency, but also access tons of t-shirt design templates, text templates, the Canva image library, and even access the magic background remover tool. To try Canva Pro free for 30 days, go ahead and click the link in the video description. Even if you decide to cancel, you can still create a lot of designs in 30 days. So now that I've resized my design and selected to export with a transparent background, let's go ahead and click on the download button. It may take a few seconds for your image to download. And voila, your design should now be downloaded to your computer. Let's open it up and see how it looks. So here's the design I just created of my dog Enzo. I think he'd be pretty happy about how this one turned out. If you wanted to see some videos of Enzo, I think I have a couple on my Instagram page of him doing a few tricks. So now that you've downloaded your new design, you can now upload it to Redbubble, Teespring, or any other print-on-demand platform. So that's a quick overview of how to use Canva to create awesome designs for your print-on-demand products. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.